Today we'll be talking about the most obvious times directors told comic book fans to go f*** themselves. Any movie from any time period is eligible, so there may be potential spoilers. Let's get right into it. Number 5. The Bane Switch. Dark Knight Rises. People were so excited after The Dark Knight that the sequel would undoubtedly be wildly financially successful and have big shoes to fill. However, there are several flaws. Among the most egregious was how Bane's character flipped towards the end of the movie. He went from a fearless, seemingly mentally and physically superior opponent for Batman to a second-rate, love-struck, clueless lackey for Talia. The last time we saw Bane in live action, he played the dumb lackey role. To hype us up just to bring us crashing down to Earth was a d move, Nolan. Also, too many characters. Number 4. The whole movie. X-Men The Last Stand. I want to have a time limit on this video, so I'll just checklist this one. Cyclops dying off screen? Check. A bunch of underutilized characters? Check. The Phoenix making Jane look like a zombie? Check. The Phoenix's entire character basically being a child with power who threw a temper tantrum. Check. The Phoenix Saga basically being reduced to about one movie's length. Check. Actually, pretty much everything dealing with the Phoenix. Also, too many characters. Number three, the Venom symbiote, Spider-Man 3. After how great Spider-Man 1 and 2 were, I thought Sam Raimi had a complete grasp of the character and knew what the fans wanted to see from the character. The symbiotes and their various hosts are in my top 10 for comic book characters of all time. So when I found out that Venom would be in the third film, I was so hyped. Fast forward a painstaking, goth, emo, dancing Peter Parker, convoluted love story, and annoying Topher Grace later, and I wanted everything involved with that franchise to end immediately. Also, too many characters. Number 2. Deadpool. X-Men Origins Wolverine. Okay, I've covered this before in my previous video about my top 5 comic book portrayals. So, if you saw that, you pretty much knew this was going to be on this list. If this were just about me, there wouldn't be a list. It'd just be me crying for 10 minutes about how bad Fox screwed Deadpool fans everywhere with this one decision. As Wade, he had his moment or two where he shined. Then everything was flushed down the toilet. Also, given what we were promised and what followed this movie, too many characters. Now let's check out some honorable mentions. We have plans for you, Peter Parker. You wanted to be the hero. God is all-powerful. He cannot be all good. In the world, only I set if you force it to. Number 1. The Mandarin, Iron Man 3. Iron Man 3 was a huge disappointment that was set up for failure. It was the first MCU movie released after the Avengers, and Marvel's stock was at an all-time high, and expectations were through the roof. We are promised to see how the events of the Avengers affects Tony. Most people expected to see some other Avengers helping out with whatever issue Tony was going to get into in this movie. Lastly, we were promised that the big bad would be the Mandarin. Well, we only really got one of those things. It turns out that the Mandarin wasn't really the Mandarin, but later on was real to be the... It was really crazy and stupid, and the outrage from... This twist in the movie was big enough that Marvel actually put out an apology to the fans. It's something that's still talked about to this day, and it's still such a hot topic that Shane Black recently put out an interview in which he defends his choice. There are some fans that are just never going to forgive you. So, did you like the list? What would be your top five middle fingers given to us? by the studios. Make sure you subscribe for more lists as well as other videos. I'm SVJ and I'll talk to you guys later.
Peace.